So, you want to bottle your beer? The first thing you've got to do is you've got to make sure you take the gravity reading. I'm going to take my first gravity reading now. You only need about 100 mils. Once you've done this, make sure you just clean the tap area here. It's difficult to tell on this video, but you want to just see where the top of the liquid hits your hydrometer. I would normally start from about day 12, uh, but about two weeks of fermentation, then I'll start taking the gravity readings. And now you need to take the gravity reading for at least three days, and those gravity readings need to be the same for at least three days. So if you take one, and then you take another, and it's different, you then have to wait another three days. So it might take four days or five days of gravity reading until you get three consecutive days of the same reading. Then you know your beer is ready to bottle. It's a time to take the beer off the chub into another container and this is called racking. Now, you sh ideally you should have two tubs, both with taps on, which means you can just go from one tub to the other tub. However, I don't have that. I've bought a second tub, but I haven't installed it on the other one. So I'm gonna have to siphon it from my other tub into this one, ready for bottling. So I've totally sterilized all of this. I know I'm holding this, I'll sterilize it again. But I'll, I, all of this is sterilized and now we're gonna start siphoning from one tub to another. So now we're going to be priming the beer and that consists of putting some extra sugar into the beer. The whole point of priming is so you add a little bit of extra sugar into the bottles so the XX yeast that's in the bottles can eat the sugar and get rid of any other bad taste and it will condition the beer in the bottle. And the carbon dioxide produced by the yeast will create the fizz of the beer. So I've got 60 grams of sugar here and I've got boiling water, sterilised spoon, just give it a stir just to get all the sugar to be dissolved and then you're going to put this liquid into the tub that you're going to rack your beer into. So you're going to rack the beer into this solution. So I've got a simple siphon tube here and I've just filled it with cooled kettled water. So it's completely full of cooled kettle water. When I stick this in and it's got a, a beer filling nozzle at the end, when I start pushing it down, I'll put it into a bowl first. When I start pushing it down, all of that water will come, sucking the beer through, and then once I've got beer through there, then I'll put it into the container. So you want the full container with the trub at the top and the one you're filling at the bottom, and that will help with the siphon and the gravity pulling the water through. So I'm now just siphoning off the beer into the second tub. When you're siphoning off, you want to try and make sure that you don't get any air or oxygen into the beer, which is why I was using the beer bottling tool because it stops uh, any extra excess oxygen getting into the beer at this stage. So I've sprayed the caps with steriliser, I've sprayed my bottle filler with steriliser and my beer, beer bottles have been in the dishwasher on an intensive baby wash care so I'm going to start bottling. So I've just put a jug down here to catch any drips and we're using slightly smaller bottles because we've taken the uh, gravity reading and it's about 8.8% proof so we're going to bottle it in smaller bottles. When you're doing this you want to try and get as little oxygen in the beers as possible hence the bottling tube. First one done. So now we need to condition these bottles and they need to be conditioned in the bottles for a minimum of two weeks before you can start drinking them but ideally you leave them a bit longer. And the longer you leave them, often the better they get. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna enjoy drinking these beers. If you liked my video, please subscribe to my channel. The link's below. Otherwise, until next time, see you soon. Cheers, guys.